Train to Busan had a sequel? It's day 29 of 31 Days of Horror and we are watching the movie Peninsula. I don't know how this movie flew under my radar. The director who made the hit zombie flick Train to Busan made this sequel but he also made a prequel film called Soul Station. Today we are checking out this sequel. And like always people on Letterboxd don't particularly like this film with it having a rating of 2.6 out of 5 stars. Well I'm here to tell you to ignore that rating. This takes place 4 years after this zombie outbreak and this is more of an action adventure zombie film instead of a close tight-knit thriller zombie outbreak movie like the first one. We follow our lead Jung who is an ex-soldier who takes a job with a team to go back into the quarantine Korean peninsula. The mission is to find and secure a truck that has millions of dollars on board and to get back within three days. The thing I like about this movie is that it's been four years since the outbreak so they know how to deal with the zombies now. Like how the zombies are blind at night so they use that to their advantage. I also like how they actually call them zombies in this. Most zombie flicks call them like walk Walkers, creeps, Zez, anything that's not zombies. I love how the city looks in this. It's so messed up and destroyed, and you can tell it's been four years since the outbreak. Now, the CGI is kind of noticeable, and I can understand people not liking it, but in my personal opinion, it didn't really bother me. It was serviceable, and it fit the scenes. It also made the action, especially the car scenes, exciting and engaging. The scene where Jung gets saved by the two girls was awesome, and she is really good at driving that SUV. I also liked how the little girl had this little, like RC car and she uses it to like distract the zombies that was really cool other than Jung I think the two girls were my other favorites in this movie they were super fun and adorable speaking of Jung he is an excellent shot in this and he is super smart when it comes to dealing with zombies honestly he's probably one of the best characters in a zombie movie dealing with zombies there are two villains in this movie and they're both scumbags for different reasons the action was also really great and action-packed tons of great scenes in this the zombies were vicious and very fast and this reminds me why I hate fast zombies because they're hella creepy I honestly don't know why this movie gets so much hate online this was never gonna be a continuation from the first film I mean the first guy dies and then what you have left the girl and the young kid I mean let's be real plus I think Jung is a way cooler main character than the first guy and I like these characters in this film a little bit more than the first film overall both these things do great in their own respected films I just like this second one just a little bit more than the first train to Busan the ending was great in this movie as well they could have easily have messed it up by doing something completely different but they didn't and it ended perfectly on a scare meter this gets about a 3 out of 10 on a blood meter this gets about a 5 to 6 out of 10 this is why i give peninsula an 8.5 out of 10 if you guys like this review hit that like button if you guys want to see more hit the subscribe button and as always thanks for watching